Well, summertime's almost here. Time to sit down with a good book and a nice fruity beer by the pool and just relax. Yeah, unless you've got kids. <laughs> One of the biggest warm weather worries for parents is sun protection. That's why we're bringing you this entire bright and sunny week on Sunburn. All brought to you by One Step Ahead. The best baby gear every step of the way, one step ahead. You've probably heard that you receive the majority of your lifetime sun exposure before you're 18. But did you know that just two blistering sunburns when you're a kid doubles your risk of melanoma? Yeah, but what's really troubling about childhood sunburn is just how embarrassing it is to the parents. Embarrassing? You can't hide it, right? Kids like lobster red, red as a beat, walking around, oh, I got sun. And you know, everybody's looking at you with their judging eyes, bad parent, didn't use sunscreen. Maybe the kids just got a nice even tan, you know? It's just full of that judgment, judgment. So it's all about you. Well, and Dad Labs, dude, I keep, you know, image. I keep talking to you about this. Dude, you're sitting in a pool. It's all about. You heard about your image? You could drink like 20 beers and you never have to leave. Don't you pee in my pool. <laughs> when parents think sun protection, they automatically think sunscreen. The problem with this stuff? Highly susceptible to parental error. Here's a common scenario. You plonk your stuff down at the beach or the pool and your kids go tearing ass off before you get them all lathered up. Put on the sunscreen at home or at the hotel before you go and make sure you lay it on thick. Studies show that half the people that use sunscreen don't use enough in order to get the full SPF protection. And make sure you reapply every two hours. Make it a precondition for them to get a drink or a snack. You know, it's very important because if you use sunscreen regularly, you cut your chances of developing skin cancer by 80%. Wow. Why do we need all this stuff? So if you're headed out into the sun with our kids, you definitely want to find shade or bring some with you. This is especially true if you've got kids six months old or younger, they are supposed to stay out of the direct sun. Of course, a classic solution is a good old beach umbrella like this one. One thing you may not know, these things actually are now SPF rated. This one's got a cool aluminum lining. This is a thick, heavy, big dog. Um, this one's got an SPF rating of 125. This is gonna be hard to lug around. Great sun protection. The problem with the lighter ones, the thinner ones, you can see the sun shining through. Those are SPF rated as, as low as 15. So you can still get a significant amount of sun even though you're under an umbrella. So be careful about that. You might also wanna go with a sunshade. One of these uh, tent-like models is pretty cool. They, they pack up really small, they're, they're very portable, and they give you a nice wide area of, of sun protection underneath. Now these things have got you know, roughly the aerodynamics of a parasailer, so you, you definitely want to use these. You got to use lots of stakes and, and hold these things down really firmly because uh, they do have a tendency to, to blow around a little bit, which is one of the reasons that I like uh, are the tent models a little bit better than the full enclosures, because those full enclosures, you know, they catch the wind the wrong way, you get this kind of tumbleweed thing with like a kid in it, kind of a washing machine kind of thing, which is not so cool. Daddy Clay, let's talk a little beach fashion. Hey, Daddy Brad, you remember back in the day, there was always that one kid, the fat kid, you know, maybe not fat, maybe husky, and he always wore the t-shirt, right? When he was swimming as if that was gonna... That was you? Yeah, that was me, yeah. actually. That was me, it's a little <laughs> embarrassing. Um, but now, uh, wearing a t-shirt to the pool is actually cool. Yeah, yeah, you know, these swim shirts that mm -hmm. uh, surfers made popular, kids love them. They're fantastic, Gr yeah. Great, great sun protection. They're short sleeve, short, yeah, yeah those are great. And if you wanna, go, you wanna go one step further, man, you go for the total body suit. Now, most parents look at this and they go, wow, that's gonna be really hot, right? But really, once these things get uh, wet, and this is not neoprene, it's a breathable fabric, it holds the moisture actually closer and keeps them cool, actually, great sun protection, because those toddlers, they roll around in the sand until they look like a cinnamon donut, and they got sand in every crack and crevices in the diaper, it's a total disaster. These things are perfect for that. We love them, we use them all the time. This will not, however, keep your child from eating sand. Yeah. It's a whole different no, no. thing. Hats? Sunglasses, sunglasses. Even though, even though your kids may resist, you must insist. Just like bike helmets, you gotta make them wear these things. You know, after a while, you keep doing it, it'll become routine. Hats. Oh my God, you gotta take those off. You wouldn't want to see me in one of these bodysuits. Let me tell you what. 
Well, that's all for us this week. We're brought to you by One Step Ahead, so we've got a fantastic giveaway this week we want to tell you all about. It's a package of baby blanket sunscreen products, as well as a $50 gift certificate to One Step Ahead and Leaps and Bounds, where you can go and purchase some wonderful Sun Smarties items or anything else you like there. And all you have to do to get registered for this giveaway is just drop us a comment. It's very simple. Just drop us a comment, tell us your sunburn nightmare stories, you've got tips for prevention, whatever. Let us know on this theme. You'll automatically be registered for the drawing. So that's all for this week here in the lab. You know who doesn't have to worry about sun protection? No, who's that? Possums. Nocturnal. They're only out of night. Are there other animals that worry about sunburn? What do you, why, why do you think about these things? Hairless cat? Dude, if you're a hairless cat, you gotta be protected sun. Ooh, think about that. Your whole body. You know what, also, those like little aliens that live on the backside of the planet Zoba? Where's that? The... Zoba? Is that a new discovery? I didn't oh, see it on CNN. Oh my gosh. You Is stay it... up at night Contact? trying to think of something. Do we, do we have contact?